Hi and welcome to my first little Arduino project. This is a little uh, clock that I've made. Uh, it is um, counting off seconds on the left hand side and you can see if you just keep looking at the left hand um, kind of bulb is changing color depending on the second and the middle is right is uh, minutes and the right hand side is hours. Um, now it doesn't come through very well in the video the colors because I'm using a shift bright, and shift brights, like the name suggests, are extremely bright. Uh, they're little LEDs I've got on this um, on this board. Uh, if I take the um, ping pong ball that I've cut a hole in here, you can see that they're very bright indeed. But as you know, as time ticks on, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see that second one that I've just taken uh, off. It just sits there and changes colour. Cool. Okay, so. Um, the shift brights are interesting, they're attached to the Arduino, so let's start off with the Arduino I've got over here, which is running at the moment off um, a USB power supply, and it's powering two buses basically. The first one goes to the uh, goes to a real-time clock, which is this little uh, red baby right here. This um, is a little um, quartz crystal that's being regulated you can set the time on it and it even has a tiny little bit of memory on it uh, and will return to you minutes hours seconds now when i got it i thought ah oh, cool that'll be great for my project but one thing i've noticed is that uh, it the smallest amount it can provide is seconds so as it as uh, my little clock cycles through actually you can see from the reflections here the colors bit <laughs> from the balls themselves because they're um, yeah they're quite bright um then, uh, but the smallest amount is seconds, so it actually, this uh, seconds on jumps a little bit more than I'd like it to. So this, that's, that's controlling the time. And if we look over here, I've got a serial output, and it's chugging away and throwing out. I mean, this is just some debugging information I've got. And it tells me also how much, um, how much I'm, um, red, green, and blue I'm sending to each of the switch brights. Okay, so the next thing is the switch brights themselves. So they come off this part of the Arduino and come down to the first of the switch brights. Now the great thing about the switch brights is they, the switch part of it is that they have switch registers, shift brights, shift brights, shift registers as part of them. So what you're doing is you're sending down a stream of data uh, and it uses a clock to work out which and a latch to work out which of the switch brights, uh, shift brights that you want to actually address. So it knows that the first hour information goes into the uh, first shift bright, that's then daisy chained to the second, which is then daisy chained around to the third one. And it works a treat. It took me a little while to, to get it with some uh, lovely um, help from uh, the Arduino crowd, which put stuff on the net. Um, I then did some maths and worked out um, uh, using sign, how the red, green, and blue, how they wanted that to work, and, and I also did a little bit of maths to work out that I wanted the peak here. So it cycles through the, you know, the, the minutes, and seconds, and hours as well. So that is my first Arduino project, and uh, I'm really quite pleased with it. I've learned an enormous amount about, um, about how sketches work, about how um, shift registers work, LEDs, um, that real-time clock module which is really cute, uh, there's my first effort at through-hole soldering, very glad indeed. did, and um, in general I just think it works nicely. I'll pop the code up, um, it's going to be pretty messy on the blog as well, and um, help yourself to it. Um, this actually would run entirely would run if I put an external power supply onto the Arduino. I do, it actually doesn't need connected to the computer at all. It could be completely standalone, which is kind of cute as well. Okay.